Hello, my name is Matan, and in this video, we'll build a basic application using Agito's API. In this tutorial, we'll be covering what is an API, what APIs Agito has, and we'll build an application from scratch in Visual Studio. I'll be using an AGD200 and an Acrobis voice coil for this demo. So what is an API? To interact with our controllers, we use our own application. Agito PC Suite. It allows us to command and sample our controllers, as well as running a myriad of features. But the user wants to create his own application with some basic interaction options with our controllers. He doesn't need all these features. With all the hardware in place, how would he be able to send a command to the controller to, for example, turn the motor on? Theoretically, he would need to send a certain set of bits to a certain address. But inside Agito PC Suite, it's as simple as motor on equals one. This is thanks to Agito's API, an application programming interface. It gives the user a higher level method to interact with our controllers. Instead of dealing with bits, you're dealing with commands that are much more comprehensible. Agito's API is called AACOM and can be downloaded as a Nugget package. We'll see how later on. At the moment, Agito has an API that supports all of the program languages in the .NET framework, which include C++, C Sharp, and Visual Basic, among others. We're also working on an API to support Linux, which is soon to be released. And we'll get to our low-level API in a later video. All right, let's start writing an application in Visual Studio. We're gonna build an application that runs a task, which executes a sine wave-like motion and all the user needs to do is input the amplitude and the frequency. The task has already been downloaded to the controller. We'll also put a graph which shows the motor position. Let's open up our IDE Plus and take a quick look at the task. It defines a point-to-point -point motion based on two user inputs, amplitude and frequency. For more information about our IDE Plus, check out our video on the topic. Link in the description. I'll also leave links to the task and Visual Studio solution we're gonna create. Okay, from here on, I'm assuming you have some basic coding experience. I'll open Visual Studio and click on Create New Project. Let's choose Windows Forms app. I'm choosing this because I'm familiar with it, but you can choose whichever project type you prefer that's included in the .NET framework. Click on Next, and here's our app. First, let's install our API. Right-click on Preferences, Manage Nugget Packages, and search for AACOM and install it. You can see a readme file opens up. Make sure you go over the release notes. The installation package comes with documentation, so if you're not sure about certain commands, you can always look them up in the documentation for more information. Okay, now we're good to go. Let's give this application some features. We'll start by putting some buttons and text boxes in it using the toolbox here. I'll just fast forward this part until I'm done with the architecture. I'm editing the text of the objects I'm adding and giving them a design name, which will appear later on in the code. I'll also input default values where needed. Let's also add a timer. So I'll be able to update everything every, let's say, 10 milliseconds. Once I finish creating the user interface, I'll choose all the objects I need to write code for. This includes all the buttons and the timer. And then I'll click on Enter. This will add them to the code. I'll fast forward the code writing process, and I'll write plenty of comments along the way to make things clear.
let's run the app. I'm just going to change the amplitude a bit and click on connect. All right, let's run the task. And we have a sine wave like motion. Let's change the amplitude a bit and update the task. Everything's working. Now I'm going to click on exit and the motor stopped. Great. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.